Isaiah chapter 29, Joel, the 29th book of the Bible. Woe, doing a series of woes, Ario, and that means Lion of God, Jerusalem. Now, you see the E-L? You see that E-L, that, that's Jehovah. Like Daniel, Dan means judge. Daniel, God is judge, judge is God. To Ario, the city where David dwelt, Jerusalem. Add ye year to year, let them kill sacrifices. That's the city you're supposed to do it in. Yet I will distress Ario, and there shall be heaviness and sorrow. And it shall be unto me as Ario. And I will camp against thee round about, and will lay siege against thee with a mount. I will raise forts against thee, the military occupation, an army. Judah's, I mean Judah, uh, Babylon's coming. And thou shalt be brought down, the city walls, the buildings, the temple. <clears throat> and shall speak out of the ground, lo. Thy speech shall be low out of the dust. How low can you get? And thy voice shall be as one that has a familiar spirit. Death. Familiar spirit is when you sit and you call upon your dead relatives. Out of the ground. Out of thy speech shall whisper out of the dust. As low as you can get. You talk about that city is going to be just destroyed. And it was destroyed in 70 AD. Moreover, the multitude of thy strangers, Gentiles, shall be like small dust. And the multitude of the terrible ones shall be as the chaff, that's the worthless part of the wheat, that passes away. Yea, it shall be at an instant suddenly. <laughs> you want something instant? There's a destruction instant. That shall be visited of the Lord. That's not a visitation you want. We're going to go on visitation. Have you checked visitation, what it is in the Bible? You have, haven't you? I hope you have. Lord, the host with thunder. With an earthquake. Well, that's the end of the tribulation period. Great noise. With storm and tempest. Weather. God controls the weather. And a flame. Of a devouring fire. That's that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Also in the tribulation period. It says that a third of the trees. Shall be burnt up. And the multitude. Of all the nations. That fight against Ariel. Even all that fight against her. And her munitions. Military armor. Weapons. And that distress her shall be. As a dream of a night vision. Curse. And I'll curse you back. That goes for the cities of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the 12 tribes. Ariel is the city of Judah. And when you cause a curse upon them, God's going to bring a curse upon you. So if you're a nation and God says, hey, I want you to spank the hiney. I want you to chastise the children of Israel. Excuse me, God. Yes. You say anybody that curses that Jew is going to be cursed. Correct. Can you find another nation? Please rule us out. What's wrong with saying that? I, every president I've written since Ronald Reagan. Hey, when it comes to that Jew, leave them alone. I've seen my lifetime, President Bush messed with them, and we had an event called the Perfect Storm. And I've heard a lot of stories out of that Perfect Storm from men that were in the military, Coast Guard, Navy. Don't mess with Israel. And it shall be even be when a hungry man dreameth. And behold, he eateth in his dream. But he awakens and his soul is empty. It was a dream. It was all a dream. I have a dream. And as when a thirsty man dreams. And behold, he drinketh in his sleep. But he waketh. And behold, he is faint, and his soul has appetite. 
So shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion. You're not going to be satisfied with food and drink. Don't mess with Israel. That's Mount Zion. That's Ariel. That's Jerusalem. City of David. And yet God can find faithful nations that will go against Israel. You know, it says when they, when the Sanhedrin, the chief priest, when they sought people to bear false witness against Jesus, the Bible says they found many of them. And it was so bad that even the many of the many could not agree with the many that were many that showed up. Stay yourself. Stay. Stop. And wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. There's a spirit for you. And has closed your eyes. John chapter 12, Acts 13. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Daniel. Jer well, Daniel is not written yet, but Daniel is a book that's sealed. Revelation's a book that's sealed. Those books will come to play in the tribulation period. Jeremiah is a kind of sealed book. Is at the end of the Jeremiah, the book is tied up and thrown in the river Euphrates. Which men deliver to one that is learned, educated. Same. Read this, I pray thee. He says, I cannot, for it is sealed. Go to Revelation. I'll show you something. Revelation. Okay. Or change. Revelation chapter 5. And verse 3. <coughs> Verse 2, and I saw a strong angel proclaim with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither look therein. Well, that's interesting. And then the lamb comes. Back to Isaiah. There's a sealed book. Only the lamb, Jesus Christ, will open. I don't like to read the Old Testament. I know. And the book is delivered to him that's not learned. Has no education. Say, read this, I pray thee. He says, I'm not able, I'm not learned. I don't know. I don't even know how to read. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draweth nigh, uh, draweth near me with their mouth. Oh, I just love God. I just love Jesus. I am a Christian. I let my light shine. With their lips, they do honor me. But have removed their heart from me. That's the state of the churches today. We're Christians. We serve you. Open the Bible. Let's read. And their heart is out the door, out the window. They did that with Ezekiel. Oh, Ezekiel, you sound good. You sound like a lovely song. And God said, yeah, there's a word. They're, they don't do what they say. They're not doers of the word. Deceiving themselves. Today would be to have itchy ears. There's no heart. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of man. Man is teaching them how to fear God. If you don't tithe. If you don't tell people and bring them to church someday. What's God going to do? <laughs> Verse 
Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work. We saw that the other day, marvelous work, strange act. Among his people, the Jews, even a marvelous work and a wonder. We saw that the other night. And the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. <laughs> the wise men, bye. <laughs> You know, we have a disease today that eliminates the wise of the wisdom or the wisdom of the wise. Alzheimer's. There are people today, and I'm looking at the disease. That at, when they come to the near, they don't even know who they are. They don't even know who their family is. You know, there's a place in the Bible that says women shall pluck off their breasts, and yet cancer. I've been married to two women with, with cancer and had that surgery. I can't remember the name of it. Stick to the book. You don't need vegetables talking to you. You don't need church, Sunday school material. You need the Bible. And the understanding of the prudent. Let's see, prudent goes with understanding. Understanding goes with prudent. Men shall be hid. We'll be able to find it. We read earlier that, you know, there'll be a famine of the land of the words. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. You know, they're little secret societies and God don't see us and turn off the lights in the bar because God can't see in the dark. And their works are, are in the dark. Movie theaters. And they say, who seeth us? And who knoweth us? No one can see us. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work, the clay, whatever that, whatever is being on that, on that spindle, a pot, a yarn, a vase, a ewer, shall the work say unto him that made it, the, 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 the potter, he made me not. I mean, he, here's a potter, and he's got work on the, on the wheels, and say he makes a, a yarn or a vase. And he finishes that vase, and he fires it, and, you know, and he puts it over there on the floor, and somebody could, hey, that's a nice vase. And that vase said, he didn't make me. Well, who made you? We came from the Big Bang. I came from the furnace of the Big Bang. Many, 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 many years ago, we came out of the ocean. God didn't build this church. We did. See how rich we are? See how great it is? Or shall the thing famed say unto him that framed it, like a picture? He has no understanding. Imagine a picture looks at you. I mean, you put a nice little frame around and all that, and the, and the frame looks at you. You don't know what you're doing. It's the object versus the person that, that did the object. Is it not yet a very little while, pay attention to the little whiles, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field. Oh, now we're in the millennium. And a fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. And in that day, there we go again, shall the deaf hear the words of the book. That sealed book? In the tribulation period, that book is opened by the Lamb. And the eyes of the blind shall see out of the obscurity and out of darkness. Coming back and healing again. Who does the healing? God, Jesus. The gospel is going to happen again. The meek. 
also shall increase their joy in the Lord. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. There's the millennium. Now back to the second advent. Now I just thought of something. Can you picture Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo? Boy, this is a rabbit trail. Can you picture Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo? They're in that furnace of fire, and that fourth man shows up, Jesus Christ. Can you imagine them? Can you imagine what they were talking about in that fire? Boy, am I going far on this one? Hey, Jesus, what are you doing here in the fire? You're supposed to be on the cross. Or a terrible one. <laughs> They're supposed to see Calvary. And a terrible one is brought to Noah. That's the Antichrist. All the I mean the Christians, hey, don't get the mark, don't get the you know, we're not gonna live to the tribulation period, but don't get the mark, don't take the shot. The, everything in the Antichrist is gonna come to Noah. Nothing. He's gonna end up in the lake of fire. And the scorner is consumed. That person that scorns you in your ministry of preaching Jesus, don't worry about it. If they don't get right and they don't repent, they'll be consumed. And all that watch for iniquity are cut off. Everybody that wants iniquity to happen. Or everybody that turns the TV set on to watch iniquity. Or go to a movie. Or go to a theater. Or go to a sports event. They want to see. They, want, they go to that, that auto race because they want to see a car accident. That make a man an offender is his fault. You see the problems he's got? For a word. Now, an offender shows up in Acts 25 11, the only other place. A word. And lay a snare, a trap for him that reproveth in the gate, that's the city hall of the cities, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Here's a man that's just, we don't want anything to do with you. Who cares about you? Therefore, thus saith the Lord, who redeem Abraham, concerning the house of Jacob, would be Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Jacob shall not now be ashamed. They don't care right now. Neither shall his face now wax pale. Second advent, he will. Second advent, he's going to be, when they see Jesus coming, then they're going to be ashamed. They wrongly divide their scriptures. They don't even have the New Testament scriptures. Study to show thyself approved under God, or work with the need not to be ashamed, rightly divine, the, 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 uh, rightly divine the word. The Jewish people today don't even look at Matthew the Revelation. They'll be charged. But when he seeth his children, the work of my hand, God's hand, in the midst of him, Israel, the nation, they shall sanctify my name, millennium, and sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, Jesus. And shall fear the God of Israel, millennium. They also that erred, I don't like that word, erred, in spirit. How could you err in spirit? Christmas is a spirit, the spirit of Christmas. You got that Halloween spirit? Go down to the store, and get me some spirits. When John the Apostle said, try the spirits. Shall come to understand. Ning. And they that murmured, watch that, shall learn doctrine. <laughs> oh, I got it now. <laughs> That's a switch. That's a big switch there. 